Hi, we were talking about this chapter on lines and angles and the concept that we were talking about was pairs of angles. We will look at a couple of more examples for this concept. So here is our first question. It reads that POQ is a line, ray OR is perpendicular to PQ, OS is any ray lying between rays OR and OP, prove that angle ROS is half of angle QOS minus angle POS. So let's just label the figure first. So this point here is point P, this point right in the center is point O, here the point is Q, this ray the black one is ray OR and the red one is ray OS. Now the question makes some sense. POQ is a line. The horizontal line is line POQ. Yes. Ray OR is perpendicular to PQ. Yes. Here. This one is 90 degrees. Then we have OS as a ray which lies between OP and OR. So OS here the red one lies between the two black rays OR and OP. We are supposed to prove that angle ROS that is angle R O S this particular angle right here is equal to half of angle Q O S which is the bigger angle this blue one the whole angle angle Q O S minus angle P O S the other side of this angle great now just let me tell you how will we proceed about this if we look at the right hand side of what we have to prove, we have two angles. The first one being angle QOS, this one, the bigger angle, right? And we also have angle POS, which is this blue angle, the smaller one. So first of all, what we'll do is, we'll figure out what is the value of angle QOS. Now this angle, angle QOS is nothing but equal to this particular angle, angle Q O R, this angle right here. Then if you add angle R O S to it, this angle, then we get the whole angle, angle Q O S. So what I'm saying is angle Q O S is equal to angle Q O R plus angle R O S, right? And we know that the value of angle QOR is nothing but 90 degrees because it's a right angle. So I can say that angle QOS is equal to 90 degrees plus angle ROS, right? So if I just transpose the value of angle ROS to the left hand side, I would have angle QOS minus angle ROS equal to 90 degrees. Let this be the first equation. Now we also know that angle P O S the smaller blue angle plus angle S O Q the larger blue angle forms a linear pair of angles. That means angle P O S plus angle Q O S is equal to 180 degrees right because of linear pair once we know this i can divide the whole thing by 2 and i would have angle p o s plus angle q o s whole thing into 1 by 2 equal to 180 degrees by 2 or i can write this as equal to 90 degrees let this be equation 2 you must be wondering why did I do this? Now if you look at what we had to prove, we have angles QOS, ROS and POS and there is no value of angles that are present in this particular relationship. So what I did is I tried to separate out the values on the right hand sides so that I can equate their left hand sides. In that case I would just have the angles and no numeric values of angles present, right? 
Now what I'll do is I'll just equate the left hand sides of equations 1 and 2. That would give me angle POS plus angle QOS this by 2 by 2. This is the left hand side of equation 2 is equal to left hand side of equation 1 which is angle QOS minus angle ROS right because their RHS are equal equal to 90 degrees hence their left hand sides would also be equal great if I just take angle ROS to the left hand side and the other two to the right hand side I would get angle ROS this would be positive now equal to angle QOS minus angle QOS by 2 minus angle POS by 2. Now what we have here is angle QOS minus half of angle QOS would give me only half of angle QOS that is angle QOS by 2 and minus angle POS by 2. This is as it is. So this gives me half of angle QOS minus angle POS just taken 1 by 2 common and on the left hand side I had angle ROS and this is what we had to prove up here angle ROS is half of angle QOS minus angle POS so this was pretty simple wasn't it let's look at another example so here's the question it says that it is given that angle x y z equal to 40 degrees and x y is produced to a point p first of all we are supposed to draw a figure from this then it says if a ray y q bisects angle z y p find angle x y q and reflects angle q y p now this sounds like it's really difficult but let's just start drawing the figure and we'll figure out what's to be done. First of all, let us just draw this angle, angle XYZ. This is our angle XYZ. Let this be X, let this be Y, let this be Z. And it's given to be equal to 40 degrees. So this angle is approximately equal to 40 degrees. Okay. Now the question says, that xy is produced to a point P. So we will produce ray xy in the direction of x to y, not the other way around. Since x is written first, so it will be x to y. So it would be produced on this side in a straight line, of course. So let's say this is point P right here. Now, the next part of the question says that there's a ray yq which bisects angle ZYP. So first of all, let's figure out which one is angle ZYP. Angle ZYP. So this is angle ZYP. There is a ray YQ. So starting from Y and ending in Q. So let's say this is the ray YQ which bisects this particular angle ZYP. So ray YQ. That means this particular angle is equal to this angle. Next, we are supposed to find out the values of angle X, Y, Q and reflex angle Q, Y, P. So angle X, Y, Q would be X, Y, Q. This particular angle, the one in red. And what would be reflex angle Q, Y, P? That would be Q, Y, P is this angle. But reflex angle QYP would be the back of angle QYP or this particular angle, the one in green, this whole angle. So once I have the value of angle QYP, I can find out the value of reflex angle QYP. Now let's see how do we go about this. First of all, we are given that angle XYZ is 40 degrees and we also know that P Y X is a line. So let's just write it down. P Y X is a line. Right? So angle X 
y z and angle z y p this whole angle z y p they are adjacent angles and also they are a linear pair of angles right because p y x is a line hence they are a linear pair of angles so what i can say is angle x y z plus angle z y p would be equal to 180 degrees this is from our axiom that we had studied okay great so the value of angle x y z angle x y z was equal to 40 degrees so i can easily find out the value of angle z y p so angle z y p would be equal to 180 degrees minus angle x y z and this would give me 180 degrees minus 40 degrees or 140 degrees so angle z y p this angle is 140 degrees now we know that the ray yq bisects angle zyp yq bisects angle zyp that just means angle zyp divided by 2 is equal to angle pyq and is also equal to angle qyz right zyp is bisected that is it is divided into two equal parts first part being this and the second part being this so the whole value of angle zyp was 140 degrees so angle pyq would be equal to angle qyz and they would be equal to 140 degrees by 2 or 70 degrees right so both these angles here are 70 degrees each great now i can find out whatever i have been asked to find out the first one is angle xyq this red angle now this red angle xyq is nothing but xyz plus zyq so angle xyq is equal to angle xyz plus angle zyq and i know both the values so it would be 40 degrees plus 70 degrees which is nothing but 110 degrees so i have the value of xyq as 110 degrees the other angle that i had to find out was this one the green big angle it was reflex angle p y q which is nothing but 360 degrees minus angle pyq do you agree and we know the value of angle pyq that is 70 degrees so this would be 360 degrees minus 70 degrees and this is nothing but 290 degrees so those are your two angles the first one is 110 the other one is 290 degrees happy learning